Hello, if you're a, if you're Jehovah's Witness, I want to prove to you from your own book here that Jesus Christ is Jehovah. And so you think I'm not playing any games. This is your translation, the New World Translation. And uh, let's go. I, I pray that that uh, God opens your eyes. Here in the book of Psalms, verse 136, it says, Give thanks to the God of gods for his loving kindness to time infinite give thanks to the lord of lords remember jehovah lord of lords well let's go to revelation and see what it says about the lord of lords in revelation this is revelation 17 14 these will battle with the lamb but because he is lord of lords and king of kings the lamb will conquer them the, the Lamb of God is Jesus Christ. He is Lord of Lords and Kings of Kings. I have more proof from your own book. This is Isaiah chapter 40, 43, verse 11. I, I am Jehovah, and besides me there is no Savior. Let's... Jehovah says, besides him, there is no Savior. Well, who is Jehovah? Let's see in your own book in 2 Peter uh, 3.18. 2 Peter 3.18. I'm here to tell you that the watchtower is lying to you. They don't want you to know the truth. Second Peter three eighteen of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Savior because Jesus Christ is Jehovah. Here in Isaiah, God is saying, I am the first, moreover I am the last. And in Revelation one seventeen, it says, I am the first and the last and the living one, and I became dead. But look, I am living forever and ever, and I have the keys of death and of Hades. Who died? If the Bible teaches that Jesus Christ was God manifested in the flesh, He lived the perfect sinless life that you sure couldn't live. He never had a foolish thought. He never made one false witness. The Bible says He died on the cross, He was buried, and He rose again on the third day. The Bible says, For all have sinned, they come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible also talks about a second death. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And here are the types of people that according to God deserve the lake of fire, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. If you claim to be a Jehovah's Witness, but you deny that Jesus Christ is Jehovah, you're a liar. And you deserve the lake of fire. But you know what? God doesn't want you to go there. That's why God showed mercy by sending His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross and pay for all your sins, to atone for all your sins. Jesus Christ said that the, the deeds of men are evil. And you know what? It sure is evil if you're going around 
lying about who Jehovah is. But you know what? At the name of Jesus shall every knee bow and every tongue shall confess that he, have, that he is Lord of lords and King of kings. But here's the mercy of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. If you don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation, you're condemned already um, because of your sins. The only thing that can atone for your sins is Jesus Christ's blood shed on the cross. And if you deny that, then you're going to go to hell when you die. Here's Jehovah. Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ saying that the, the that men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. John four fourteen six says Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. My friend, it's not too late. The Bible says Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And the answer to that is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in thine house. It's not of works of righteousness which we, you have done. It's by the mercy of God. The Bible actually says that all our righteousness are as filthy rags. That's why we need the righteousness of Christ imputed onto us. And Jesus, my friend, is Jehovah. And Jesus Christ will set you free. I pray this comes to you well, in Jesus' name, amen.